Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. No, Rags, I don't want to play. I just had my lunch a little while ago. I want to sit here on the wagon steps and rest. Aw, oh, quit begging me. Oh, you want me to throw that stick for you so you can chase it, huh? Well, put it in my hand then. That's the boy. Are you ready now? I'm going to throw it real far. Here it goes. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Get on your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> you almost got it before it hit the ground that time, Rags. You're fast as lightning. Hello, Jerry. Oh, hello, Mr. Bradley. I've got something for you, Jerry. Yeah? What is it? Well, I was just over at the office wagon, and look what the mailman left for you. A postcard. No, it isn't a postcard either. What kind of a card is it? It's a notification card, Jerry. What, what does that mean? Well, it says there on the card... There's a registered letter for you over at the post office, and you'll have to go and sign for it. Well, who's it from? It doesn't say that, Jerry. I guess you'd better go over to the post office and find out. I better go now. It, it might be important. Yes, it might. Want to come with me? <laughs> Let's see now. Yes, I think I'll have time before the matinee. I'll walk over with you, Jerry. <laughs> oh, you want to come too, do you? Huh? <laughs> I never in my life saw a dog that was as smart as rags. I do believe he understands every word that's spoken. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> You're a clever little pup. Well, come on, then. No, not you. I mean Mr. Bradley. You wait here till we come back. Be a good dog now. I'm ready. Come on, Jerry. Bye, Rags. <laughs> now, just look at the way he sits there and turns his head from one side to the other. Oh, that's just the way he begs. He thinks if he acts cute like that I'll weaken and take him along with me. You're lucky to have a nice dog like that, Jerry. <laughs> Don't I know it. Say, Mr. Bradley. Yes? Y you were saying last night, you thought you knew who that escaped convict was. Th the one we saw the picture of on the poster back in the last town we played. I've uh, got a pretty good idea, but I'm not positive. Say, I can look at the poster again in this post office. Do they have those posters in every post office? Yes, as a rule. If they have one of the same men, I'll study it real good to make sure. Funny, I, I thought I knew who it was, too. I figured for sure I'd seen that man someplace. There, uh, there it is right up there at the corner. What? Why, the post office. Oh, sure. You'll be surprised, Jerry, when you find out who I think that escaped convict is. Who do you think it is? Well, I don't want to say now. It wouldn't be fair. I may be wrong about it, and it wouldn't be very nice of me to name a man who is innocent. Yeah, I guess that's right. I'll just wait until I can make sure, and then I'll notify the police, and they can come and get him. It must be awful to know the police are looking for you all the time. Yes, Jerry. The mental suffering of the transgressor is very great. Well, <clears throat> here we are. You go ahead, Jerry. Okay. I guess you'll have to inquire about your letter over at that window. Right here? Yes, that's the one. Now, just show the man that card you have. I'll look around for those posters. Something I can do for you, son? Yes, sir, I... Well, this card says I've got a letter here. Let me see it. Yes, sir. You have a registered letter. I'll get it. 
See the poster, Mr. Bradley? No, not yet, Jerry. Here you are, young man. Just sign your name right here. All right. Jerry Dugan. There you are. Thank you. And here's your letter. Look at Mr. Bradley. It's from my lawyer. <laughs> your lawyer? <laughs> well, that sounds mighty important. I mean, it's from Mr. Grayson. You know, he's finding out about the safety deposit box my dad had. Oh, yes, yes, to be sure. Wait, I'll, I'll see what he says. Guy, I hope it's good news. Uh, do you mind letting me in on it? You know, I'd like to share your good fortune with you. Sure, I'll read it. It says, Dear Jerry, Heaven promised to let you know the results of your appeal to the courts regarding the safety deposit box of your father's. It is with regret that I have to inform you that the case has been postponed due to... An overcrowded calendar, the appeal has been set up to the next session. Now, isn't that too bad? Well, I don't understand. What does it mean? It means that you'll just have to wait a little while longer. I take it there were too many other cases ahead of yours. Oh, gee, I, I thought for sure Mr. Grayson would be able to open the box and find out what's in it. Mm, it is too bad. Uh, there's more to the letter, Jerry. Uh, go ahead and read it. I will do everything to get an early hearing and report to you my findings as I fully realize how anxious you are to learn of the contents of the box. Please convey my very best wishes to all of my circus friends, especially Bumps and Mr. Bradley, of course. Hear that? Well, now, that was nice of him to remember me. Ah, oh, he's a mighty fine young man, that Mr. Grayson. Ah, uh -huh. and then he says, drop me a line, Jerry. I should like very much to hear from you. Always your friend, Richard Grayson. Well, better luck next time, Jerry. At least the appeal to open the box wasn't refused. Yeah, I guess that's one way to look at it. But I've been waiting so long already, golly. Yeah, I know, Jerry. Uh, but uh, you'll get to find out what's in the box yet. Are you ready? You know, I've got to get back to the lot and get made up. <laughs> Won't be long before the matinee now. Didn't you want to look at that poster of the man who's wanted for escaping from jail? Well, I looked for it, but it's not up in this post office. I take it they change those posters every now and again. Well, why don't you ask someone about it? No, that's an idea, Jerry. The postmaster most likely keeps them in his office if they're not out here. But no, no, I haven't time now. Come on. Maybe you can come over after the show. Yes, maybe so. Say, look. What is it, Jerry? Why can't we go down this street and across that lot? It'll be a shortcut. That's a good idea. How long do you think I'll have to wait until the case comes up in the court again? Oh, I don't know. Didn't say in the letter, did it? No. Well, I don't think it'll be very long. Maybe a month or so. Oh, golly, that long? Well, to be truthful, Jerry, I really couldn't say. Maybe it'll be sooner. Oh, uh, let's cut across right here. There's a path goes right over to our lot. It leads right over to just about where our wagon is. Lucky I thought of this shortcut, huh? I should say. Doesn't the big top look swell from here? What do you mean by that, Jerry? Oh, I don't know. I just love to look at all the tents and the banners and flags. Yes, it is a pretty sight. Ever since I was real little, I've always wanted to be with a circus. Maybe it's because I heard Mom and Dad talk about it so much. You're a true son of the sawdust trail, Jerry. Sometimes I can hardly believe that I really belong. Oh, I'd say you have a pretty good foothold in this business. You know, Jerry, it wouldn't surprise me if someday your name would become a household word. A household word? I mean, someday you might become a big star with the circus and have your name on big billboards in every city in the country. Well, wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> Looks like it's in the cards, Jerry. A boy that loves the circus as much as you do is bound to make a name for himself. Golly, I sure hope so. Hey, look, there's Beppo, the little Italian clown. Sure enough. And he's washing clothes as usual. He doesn't talk much, does he? You know him, don't you? Oh, sure, but he never talks to me. I only say hello to him whenever I see him. Oh, he keeps pretty much to himself, that's true. But friendly enough, but uh, we'll sort of reserved. And there's Major Mike. Hey, wait. Hey, what's the idea? Uh -huh. Did you see that? When the Major walked by Beppo, he splashed some water on him from, from his wash tub. Hey, look at him. He's getting mad. Oh, he'd better not get too angry with Beppo. That little fellow is just as fiery as the Major ever was. He just won't take anything from anybody. Shh. Let's stand here by the side of this tent and watch him. Listen. Certainly comes up pretty fast. When a body can't walk across this block without getting drenched to the skin with a lot of dirty soap water. No, you talk a crazy, Major Mike. Who's crazy? Don't you dare call me crazy. No, I'm not calling you crazy. I'm saying you talk a crazy. You splashed that water on me for a reason? You did it on purpose? Now don't tell me you didn't, because I know you did. And I won't stand for it. Do you hear? Go on, no, no, I'm no like to fight, but Beppo no take no talk from you. Uh -huh. Beppo, he's almost the same size like you, and Beppo, he's to make a fight with you. You no like a fight, you get away from here. You're really mad, aren't 
Yes, it looks that way, Jerry. Now, listen, don't be giving me any orders because I won't take them from you. I've got just as much business walking back here in the yard as you have washing your old clothes back here. In fact, more so. I'm a feature attraction on this show. A uh -huh, feature attraction. You're making me laugh. You are a freak. A freak? Don't you dare call me a freak. Why, I'll... You, I'll... you better go away now. <laughs> I think maybe Beppo is a getting mad. <laughs> go on, feel it. Now, you listen to me. I'll have you understand. I know. Listen to you, you, you hothead. Now, if you don't go away, I'm going to cool you off. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Seems to me you're taking on a man-sized job. You want to make a fight with me? Hey, this is getting serious. Even the Major will get hurt. The Pippo's not much bigger than Major uh, Mike. Now, have you know that I demand respect? What do you demand? What I give you is a home with him. Maybe we'd better stop him before they do start Oh, no, Jerry. That's something we try not to do around the circus. It doesn't pay to mix in and take sides, you know. Here, here. Oh. You stop throwing that dirty water on me! Why you, you? I throw the whole temple on you. You don't get away from me. <laughs> when a Beppo gets a man, he's the gets a good man. Oh, you just dare to lay a hand on me? Yes, I suppose you run quick and get your sweetheart, the, the lady with the, the whiskers. Oh, uh, now you leave her out of this, or you'll get me mad. I'm pretty even tempered, Beppo. But don't get me started, or you'll be sorry. Yeah, it makes you bad when I talk about your pretty sweetheart with the nice along a black beard. No, yeah. oh, she's not my sweetheart, and you know it. Did oh, you hear the I major say he was do. even tempered? Oh, <laughs> no, I do no such thing. And furthermore, I fully intend to report your disrespect and your outlandish actions to none other than Mr. Randall. Don't think for one minute you can treat Major Mike lightly and get away with it. Beppo, say go. Oh. I give you one minute. And if I don't go... You go. Oh, no, I won't. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'll stand on my right. I'll not take orders from you. The idea. Throwing dirty water on me and then you have the nerve to give me orders. All right. You ask for it and now you get it. Wow. You let go of me. That's all I say. I'll have the police on you. Yeah. Scotty, switch the major up and put him in the wash tub. Oh, it's unbelievable. 